Decisions, decisions. It seems like we go through life making decisions constantly. One of our most important decisions is marriage. We need to be sure if, our, if we are choosing the right partner for our future. And then the decisions as to where to live. Do we rent or buy a home? If looking for a home to buy, a decision has to be made for a suitable home for us. If a family has started, more decisions have to be made as to the right environment for them. Then decisions for choosing the appropriate education for our children, especially when a talent or ability is evident in them. When there is a health issue, decisions must be made for the right medical attention. Decisions in our life seems to be non-ending. Most decisions are made at made for our benefit and for the benefit of our family, always trying to improve what we think could make our lives better. Sometimes decisions are made out of rebellion, decisions to please ourselves, not caring about the consequences. It could be stepping out of a marriage, moving far away from the family, not being considerate with anyone and not wanting to give up any addiction or a harmful lifestyle. Of all the decisions we make in life, there is only one that is extremely important for everyone in this world. Sometimes, for lack of knowledge, it is not made. Other times, not wanting to submit or plain rebellious to acknowledging Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. If we make that decision, the benefits are enormous. We can be free from stress, we can give him all our problems and cares. He can handle our financial and health issues. He can give us a life we've always wanted, but didn't know how to obtain it. He can free us from any addiction we might have and can't seem to break it, or of any harmful lifestyle. Nothing is impossible for him. To make Jesus Christ our savior is the best decision we could ever make. For anyone wanting to make that decision to receive Jesus as their Savior can follow the instructions in Scripture, Romans 10, verse 9 and 10, that states, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. <clears throat> in other words, just tell God in your own words that you believe the sacrifice Jesus Christ did for you and believe that God resurrected him to life again. God will hear you and you will receive eternal life and all the benefits God has for you.